together and we're short. But it's time for you to go to your new home now. <laughs> what are y'all doing? <laughs> it's Wednesday and my buddy sold. I've never shipped a fear. I decided I was going to ship it and film it. That way if somebody else decides to sell it, mount. Maybe this will guide him a little bit. Maybe what to do or not to do. I don't know. Um, I've watched several taxidermies and uh, dermis and how they ship. Uh, I'm not going to be building a crate. Uh, I sold this on Macari. And uh, it's a UPS label. I think the, the buyer paid 150 shipping. So I put in the dimensions of of what I thought it was going to take. Hopefully it's not going to cost any more, but um, if it doesn't, he will bring me about $130 profit. Yeah, I'll say goodbye. Bye, friend. So I've gathered up some supplies, the label, the tape, got some stretch wrap, got some great big boxes, bubble wrap. And then just some random packing stuff that I had laying around. <clears throat> this styrofoam. Um, this material that comes in our freshly boxes. It's made out of, look, it's really neat. It's made out of biodegradable um, denim. So when you rip open this bag, it's just like shredded up denim. So um, these, are, these are pretty, pretty padded. Whoop. Anyway, let me put this on the tripod and... Hopefully, we can see this thing get boxed up safely into its new home. to protect not only the tips from coming through the box but also the antlers from breaking off the head so I'm gonna try to make a little brace to go in between the antlers and hold it in place Protect it too much. It's it's just I think for me this is going to be about building building uh, layers. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, I thought I had some pool noodles around here I could just stick on here, but I am out. It's the wrong time of year to run out of those. But. So I'm going to put this bubble wrap on each each one and shrink, shrink it a little bit. And that's not really protecting the tip, so I'm gonna put a piece of cardboard. Let's do a bigger one. to say that I did not hunt this deer. Uh, I bought it at an auction. I have a video where I went and picked him up. Um, he was not 
Nobody was bidding on him. So I picked him up, I think, for $50. But I've already made like $1,000 off of the lot that I got from there. So this is just a little gravy. I hope you can see this. Doing my best. I just want to kind of create a space in between the point. Get on there. Get on there. So we're just So I'm just reinforcing the each little horn and and the ears. Fill in like any of voids with the bubble wrap. I'm not being stingy with the bubble wrap at all. And then I'll be taking just pieces of cardboard to back it just to give it a little bit more strain. Yeah, yeah. He's starting to look protected, right? All right, so we got all of his horns protected, and I bubble wrapped the heck out of his face, his nose. Um, he's got a cardboard brace in between his antlers. Um, so now let's work on the box. So now we're going to pad the box. I hope this fits. I eyeballed the box, so we're learning together here, folks. So the bottom of the box has the padding on the sides. Come on, buddy, please fit. <clears throat> Moment of truth. I think I'm gonna need to pin my hair up for this. Whew, the heat on? Okay. <laughs> hey. I'm gonna go ahead and go around this stuff just to make sure that these don't slide off when I'm finagling it into this box.
All right, so we're, like I said, we're learning together. So, let me get, let me get this one and build it upside down. It's going to take both of these boxes for sure. Tension's too tight on my tape. All right. Come here, buddy. Okay, probably could have used a bigger box. Let me show you what we got going so far. Woo, it's getting hot in here. Okay, so he's upside down. He's got the, the recycled denim pack as a barrier in between the box and him. I'm gonna fill all this up in here, this void where his head is and everything. I'm gonna fill it up with packing paper and then we're going to take that box and we're going to put it on top. It's going to be a very big box, very heavy big box. He's got a lot of packing. So now we're gonna take a lot of tape and go around and around and around uh, to make this double box stay together. I'll be back. It's all, <laughs> it's all loaded up. Bye bye, dear head. I gotta take it to the UPS store, which is not that convenient for me for this package because normally you can drop UPS off at Walgreens. No, CVS. FedEx is Walgreens, CVS, BS. Uh, but this one's oversized, so I gotta take it to the store, which is a little ways away. But. Y'all say a prayer. He makes it there safe. Uh, I really started second guessing myself there that uh, probably should have built a crate or something for him. But I opened it back up and stuffed some more styrofoam around the edges. I think I'll be all right. Safe travels, dear. Anyway, thank y'all for tuning in once again. I will see you next Wednesday. I might be popping in and out and doing some lives, um, some listing challenges and lives and whatnot. Um, 
I think it would be fun for y'all to see all that Goodwill haul stuff get listed and like uh, what it will potentially sell for and how I look that up. If you don't already know, you probably already know, but some people don't. I don't have anything else to say except for be kind, be safe, and stay cool. Ha, <laughs>